Hello everyone, welcome to Argo CD Lab 7. Uh, in this lab, we're going to create a um, Argo CD project using YAML. Um, in the previous lab, we did it through CLI, which is not the best practice for um, GitOps. Everything should be done through <clears throat> done through code. So um, in this lab, the, let's look at the requirements. We're going to create a project through YAML. Uh, the prerequisite, we need, to have, we need to have access to our cluster, which we do. And we need to have a cluster that has Argo CD installed. So if I do Argo CD proj list, as you can see, I already have two uh, projects created. We're going to create a, a third one uh, right now live in this video. So to find a YAML file for creating a project, it's pretty simple. If you Google it, it will be there. Um, on the, there are many examples online, and it's very simple. So one of the, the, the one I'm going to use is, is here. It has the minimal configurations. Um, by the way, what you will see, so let's look at the file in a second and get, have some explanations. So what you will see in the first line, it's, it's using a um, CRD, custom resource definition, to create this because it's not a default Kubernetes um, resource, right? So if we do kget CRD, you will see that because Argo CD is installed, we have several Argo CD custom resource definitions, and this is one of them. So if I do, if we apply the YAML, actually let's uh, edit the YAMLs because there'll be a repeat uh, of the name. So we're going to, uh, yeah, that's fine. Project name foo, that's unique. So we will do kubectl, kubectl apply minus f a dot YAML. And it tells me this was created. To test this, we're going to say Argo CD, which is the CLI uh, for Argo CD. Argo CD proj list and now we should see three different projects not just not just two let's make it smaller so you can see better so as you can see here there are three projects the one we just created so this is how you create a project project is where all the apps belong to uh, for some reason when i tested played with this if it did not give the argo cd uh, namespace it doesn't show up when I uh, when I run the command for getting a list. So I think by default, Argo CD looks only in the Argo, Argo CD namespace. So I hope you found this lab useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. That helps me with the uh, um, YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in Argo CD Lab 8.